sorting yourself out is the new counterculture. It's a line that I saw on Twitter.com recently, which no doubt referred to Dr. Jordan B. Peterson and his pleas to the youth to clean their room and get their lives together, basically. So he was recently on Stefan Molyneux's channel in one of the greatest chats I've seen in a long time. And the main message that I took away from it is that young people and really old people need to spend a little bit more time being introspective and reflecting on who they are based on where they've come from and where they want to go. And they make some suggestions as to how to do that. Pray more, transgress less, and basically find out what your transcendental vocation is. So I typically do all those things, the prayer, the trying to refrain from transgressing and figuring out what the heck my calling is in life by going to church. Only problem? Well, this weekend it was a little different. I was distracted from doing all of the above. Why? Well, there was a young little sweetheart, probably around the age of 15 or 16 years old, who walked in in, I kid you not, a pair of hot pants. I could see the bottom of her butt cheeks. So that brings me to my little rant for you today. Okay, so this is as close as I'm ever gonna get to doing a beauty blog, but I think that it really needs to be said. I've just been watching this general downward spiral of how females dress in church. And if you're not gonna hear it from the pulpit, I don't know if the priests are too afraid to call out the young people. Maybe the parents are sort of out of touch and don't see what the rest of the parish sees. Well, allow me. Number one, no shorts ever. And actually that rule can also be applied to men. I get that this isn't the 1950s anymore and people don't put on their Sunday best anymore, but realistically speaking, under no circumstance is it ever appropriate to wear your little boy pants or your little hot pants to church. I'm in the pew behind you. I'm trying to listen to the gospel, but instead I'm looking to see whether or not you've got a thigh gap or maybe you missed a, I don't know, a nick while, while shaving your legs. It's not okay. Why is my head going there? Don't wear shorts. Number two, no Lululemons no athletic wear whatsoever. I remember I once wore Lululemons to, to, to work, once. That's all it took for me to understand that this is not appropriate work wear. It's also not appropriate church wear. I understand now, especially within Latin churches, um, as in the Latin rite, there has been a general acceptance of things like jeans and more casual wear. Fine, no sweatpants no Lululemons, especially if you've got more of a Kardashian figure, ain't nobody need to see all those outlines while we're in the house of God. Number three, no thong lines or bra straps. It's just distracting. Don't go with spaghetti strap if you wear bras. It means you're too old to be wearing those, specifically to church. And you know if you have a thong line showing, I'm sorry. And if you don't know if that outfit is what does that to you, Turn around before you leave the house and see, I, you wore it out on Saturday night, great. It's not appropriate for Sunday morning. Four, I can't believe I have to say this, but I see it all the time. No cleavage. Just don't show what's going on over here when you are going to the place of worship. I always think about, you know, in Greek and Ukrainian church, I'm, I'm Ukrainian Greek Catholic, um, the priest has to give you the actual body and blood of Christ, right? So he's coming up to you with the chalice. And I'm thinking about these women coming up with their you-know-what's right underneath what is holding on to Jesus. That is not appropriate. Don't show this. Number five, and this is maybe where a lot of folks are going to disagree with me, but I don't really care. I'm putting it out there. Shoulders are TMI, okay? In this case, pashminas are your friends. I have lots of sleeveless dresses, and I get it. That churches can be hot during the summertime. What I do is I pack a little pashmina or a nice little little half little shawl thing going on. I wear it during liturgy or the mass. And then when it's time for fellowship downstairs in the basement or the church hall, when I go for my tea and my scones, just take it off. That's okay then. But while we're worshiping, don't show too much skin anywhere around here. Okay, number six. No mini skirts. And this is, this is one that's kind of hard for me to say because like I said, I go to Greek and Ukrainian churches. Greek girls tend to get a little hooched up before they get out to church. Um, a lot of folks within the Ukrainian community as well, well, they came from the former Soviet Union, were wearing, frankly, tight leopard print skirts are okay. If you especially are from this particular culture or perhaps a little bit more conservative in our dress, just don't do it. And here, pantyhose are your friends. Stockings are your friends. If you're not convinced that this is a mini skirt, you don't know how short is too short, just put on some pantyhose, put on some stockings. It automatically gives you a more conservative look. All right, number seven, 
You don't need to dress like a nun or look like you're going to a funeral. There are actually a lot of really great Christian beauty blogs that are out there. You do not need to be dressed like you are the bloody queen of England, okay? That's not what's going on over here. You can look really cute. You can look really wonderful. This doesn't have to be your everyday look, but for Sundays, you can look adorable and fashionable and also incredibly modest. Number eight own a conservative black dress. And that kind of gets up to the funeral comment that I just made a little bit earlier. Any good Catholic girl has to wear, have a conservative black dress. You never know when you're gonna be asked to go to a funeral. And by the way, speaking of funerals, this is again, just a point of taste. On Good Friday, it's technically like a funeral, right? So when I see girls coming out in all sorts of bright colors, etc., no, that's, that's when we apply the conservative black dress. You never know when you're gonna need it. It's just good to have it, girls. Number nine. Be proactive in your thought patrol. This goes to friends and parents that are out there. If you see a girl, and this is where I totally messed up this weekend, I should have gone up to the girl and said very nicely, hey, look, you're very beautiful. You have a great body. That's awesome. I'm really happy for you. Maybe showing less of it at church would be a great idea for you. Save that for the weekend. Save that for, I don't know, when you're hanging out with your boyfriend. But when you're coming to the house of God, that's not really an appropriate look. So I'd urge you to get involved. Tell your friends who are in youth group. And if you're a parent, heck, lay the law down. I remember my mom giving me a little scolding too when I wanted so much as wear my lead dungarees, my overalls to church. She wasn't gonna have it. Why should you let your kid leave the house in a mini skirt when she's going to church? Okay, number 10, and this is just like a good rule of just life, not just church here. Think like Melania Trump. Think like all the Trump girls, for that matter. You can be very feminine. You can be incredibly classy and also dress conservatively. You don't see them with their tas hanging out all the time. There was a time and place for that in Melania's life once upon a time, but she also realizes that this is no longer the time or place for that sort of dress. So. In conclusion, Catholic girls, we believe that the bread and the wine that we consume on Sundays is the body and the blood of Christ. Imagine now that you are meeting the queen, okay? How would you dress? Now, can you imagine applying those sorts of rules, not to meeting just the queen, but the king of kings? For the rebel.media, I'm Faith Goldie. This is a fun beauty vlog. I usually do much more serious political topics. For all my videos, click like below and subscribe to our YouTube channel.